Hi everybody. So this is a lesson that which is about using Ohm's law for these circuits which have a resistive com component in series. And I'm just going to talk you through question three. So here's the circuit for question three. And the first thing is calculate the voltage across the three ohm resistor. We don't know the battery voltage here. We do know the current. So voltage is current times resistance. So you get six times three, which is 18 volts. And then the next question is, what is the current through the four ohm resistor? Now, we know the total current, but we don't know what's the current through here. Now, the thing is, current divides in the inverse proportion or inverse ratio of resistances. So the total resistance of this middle branch is 6 plus 2, which is 8 ohms. And the resistance of this is only 4 ohms. So this total current of 6 amps goes, two parts goes to the bottom branch and one part goes to the middle branch. Okay, so you're dividing 6 in the ratio of 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1. So because two parts go to the bottom branch, we get two parts out of a total of three parts. And 6 is divided in that ratio. So that's how I get the current through the bottom branch is 4 amps. And then what's the voltage across the bottom branch? Voltage is current times resistance. 4 times 4 is 16 volts. So that's how I get that. Then it says, what is the battery voltage? Now, it is the voltage of the battery minus the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor will give me the voltage for each branch. Now, the voltage of the battery minus the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor is 18 volts is equal to your 16. Okay, so VB minus 18 equals 16. So VB is equal to 16 plus 18. So that's how I get my 16 plus 18, 34 volts. Then it says, what is the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor? In order to get this voltage, we need to know the current through the resistor and the resistance. So the current, if four parts is going there, then you get only two amps going through here because two plus four is six. So two times six, you get 12 volts. Now the question goes on to the next part where it says another resistor is added in parallel to the 4 ohm resistor. So the circuit which was only this much now looks like this. Now when you add more and more resistors in parallel, the total resistance decreases. If the total resistance decreases, then the current from the battery is going to increase. Okay, so that's the answer. And then it says what happens to the branch voltage. Now the branch, the voltage across each branch is the same and the voltage across each branch is battery voltage minus the voltage across that, this 3 ohm resistor. Now the battery voltage is the same. However, the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor is going to increase because the current is bigger. So 34 minus a larger voltage is going to give you a smaller voltage left for each branch. So that is why the branch voltage will decrease and 